Hey guys, this is Sandeep here. I want to talk to you about creating a simple APG proxy with Salesforce as the backend. Let's take a minute to understand uh, flows. Flows are a mechanism which allow you to control the flow of processing and you can customize it a bit. The proxy endpoint is the closest to the client. Uh, the target endpoint is closest to the backend, which is Salesforce. Now, when a client sends a request, this is where you're going to read the request and do any kind of pre-processing. And this is where you're going to create the final payload to send to the backend. When the backend sends back the response, this is where you're going to read the response, determine if it's a success or not, do any kind of uh, uh, logging or anything you want to do, uh, and then it'll take this path, and uh, this is where you're going to make it ready to display to the client. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to create a connected app here. So I have the connected app created already. Once the app is created, uh, create a APG uh, API proxy and I have it here already. So we are going to be creating an account and uh, the target endpoint is the account object here. Now the proxy endpoint, we have three steps in the pre-flow. Uh, the first step is we get the query string. We read it. This is where it'll have the account name. The second step is a call out to Salesforce to get the token. This step is to read the response and store the token in a variable to be used later. Let's do a dive in each of these. They're very simple. So here we are reading the the, the query string and the parameter which has the account name the service callout prepares the payload to get a token from Salesforce and this policy the extract variables policy it retrieves it reads the token coming back and stores it in a variable on the target endpoint side uh, in the preflow, we create the payload to be sent to Salesforce. It's very simple. We're just sending a simple JSON name and account name to be created. And in the header, it has a token type and token value which we retrieved. It, the request object the request will uh, hit Salesforce and the response is going to come over here and we read the response and store it in a local variable. So this is very simple, you know, you, in production things will be much complex, but I just want to illustrate the how you do it. So Apigee provides a tracing tool. So let's start the trace and create a account so you see you know uh, it the account did get created and it's showing a 201 status and you can debug each step and you can get detailed tracing what's happening here behind the scenes. So let's go to Salesforce and see 
here it is the account did get created so guys thank you hope you enjoyed this bye bye